Hello, today we're going to be making the accessories for Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle. To make Sophie's apron, I'm going to be using the same pattern that I used for the dress, Indigo Patterns number 24, and the fabric I'm going to be using is a linen. I liked the texture of it. It is supposed to be white, but it's a bit more of an off-white. The pattern gave the option to either print out the included pattern or make your own using an included chart to save on printer paper. So that's what I decided to do. I also trimmed the bottom of the apron so that it would be more proportional with my shortened skirt. And for the apron tie, since my fabric was not wide enough to have the entire thing be cut on the fold, I did what the pattern instructions suggested and split it into three pieces, and I will sew them together to create a rectangle. The reason why I'm doing three pieces is so that the attachment points will be at the area that ties in the back, so that there won't be a seam in the front. For Sophie's apron, I'm only having it be one layer, so I went ahead and sewed a rolled hem along the side, the bottom, and back up the other side to finish the edges. Lay the ties of the apron out flat, and then on the short ends, we're going to fold over the seam allowance and press it down. Then fold the tie in half and iron it again. Then we're going to iron it one more time so that the raw edges will touch the fold in the center. And then we can use this to encase the raw edge of the apron. Insert the base apron into the apron tie, and now we're going to sew all the way around all sides of the tie to keep everything in place. From here, you could leave the apron as is, but I decided to add a little bit more detail to mine. Along the bottom of the apron, I sewed on some of the same lace that I used for the neckline of the dress, and some more of the roses that I used for the hat, to bring in elements from the rest of the costume into the apron. I probably won't be wearing the apron that much with this costume because it's very accurate to her apron design in the movie. However, since the apron goes so far back on the body, I found that it does kind of make the front very flat and it decreases the swoosh factor of the skirt. To make Sophie's hat, I'm using a base straw hat that I got off of Amazon. It did have this leather cord that was hot glued along the base of it, so I just went ahead and ripped that off. There is some residue left, but I will just cover that with the ribbon later on. To finish off Sophie's hat, I hand sewed on some red grosgrain ribbon, and instead of the little beads that she has, I decided to use these pink rosettes that my sister gave me a long time ago and I've been looking for a use for them. And I like how the little leaves bring in some of the green of the dress. So while that's not accurate, that's what I decided to do for my costume. For Sophie's hair bows, you could just tie a ribbon around the hair. I decided to make my own out of some pink fabric with a little elastic in the back. And then it has this little tie to wrap around the elastic so it looks like the ribbon has been tied around it. This is what the ribbons look like when they are on the wig. And with that, Sophie's accessories are done! For more cosplay tutorial videos, please subscribe and thank you so much for watching!